70 New York City Public Housing Authority employees charged in the largest single day robbery takedown in the history of the Department of Justice. The allegations involve nearly one third of NYCHA's 2,400 buildings in New York City, a huge breach of trust. The workers accused of taking $2 million in kickbacks from contractors. The U.S. Attorney's Office calls it a classic pay-to-play scheme. Eyewitness News reporter Kimberly Richardson live outside federal court in Lower Manhattan where we expect the suspects to appear. Kimberly? And yes, Sandra, right now, the defendants at the center of this sweeping takedown, they're upstairs facing judges in seven different courtrooms. Those alleged payoffs, 500 here, 2,000 there, doesn't sound like much, but over time adds up. One retired super who once worked at a complex, a NYCHA complex in Brooklyn, she allegedly took $15,000 in bribes, calling all of this, quote, her side hustle. There are nearly 100 dots on this on this uh, this board right here. U.S. Attorney Damian Williams says represents NYCHA complexes in the five boroughs. There are 335 where classic pay to play schemes were the norm. Officials maintain these current and former employees allegedly used their jobs to line their pockets with money through backdoor deals. Here at the Wald Houses in the East Village, Assistant Super Danny Muniz allegedly took home 3000 in cash. Lillian has lived here for nearly five decades. There's a lot of things that's going on and they don't care. The alleged activity dates back to 2013, but this morning their house of cards came crashing down. Law enforcement arrested 66 people in six states. A total of 70 are named in the complaint. Authorities maintain the defendants use their power as supers and assistant supers to exploit the no bid process or so called micro purchases for jobs under $10,000. Things like plumbing and window repairs. But according to court documents, before a contractor could get the job or be paid for doing the work, they would have to give that NYCHA employee a cut. And many contractors paid these bribes because if they didn't, the defendants would give these jobs to someone else. Officials point out NYCHA has recently been in the hot seat. In 2021 and the following year, the City Department of Investigation made recommendations after it found problems with contractors at city complexes in Brooklyn. There were reforms made to the micro purchase process. They, in our view, did not go far enough. And I think the fact that we're here today shows that they did not go far enough. Now, officials point out and stress that senior leadership at NYCHA was unaware of this problem. Federal authorities say right now the agency has accepted a new set of 14 recommendations by the DOE and is encouraging any contractor who may have been ripped off to come forward.